question I get from people when they find out I'm an artist who paints dogs is, do you work from photos? Uh, let's think about that for a minute. Yes, I have to work from photos. But I've noticed that the pictures my clients send me can sometimes be a little bad. So it seemed like a lot of people could benefit from some simple, basic tips to help them to get better quality photos of their dogs. Go outside. Natural light is your friend. Try early morning or late afternoon. Avoid bright sunlight and skip the flash. An overcast day will give you beautifully exposed photographs. Sometimes conditions are just not good for taking pictures outside. If you have to be inside, use indirect light from a window. Watch out for backlighting though. Get right in the window with your dog and use that light as it shines onto their face. You can still do this even if your dog isn't allowed on the furniture. Get your dog right near a window on an overcast day Try to avoid that bright sun shining in through the window, and you can still get that beautiful natural light. Which brings us to the black dog conundrum. To flash or not to flash? If you have a black dog and you go outside on a day that's not too bright, you might not see their eyes at all. On the other hand, a flash used incorrectly can make a dog's eyes look really creepy. One trick that works for me is to face your black dog into the sun. It helps light up her eyes. Get close up. If you just stand in the yard and point your camera at your dog, you're gonna end up with a picture that's just too far away. But be careful, because if you move in too close, you're gonna end up with this, the giant nose shot. Just a few feet away should give you nice detail, but you're not done there. You need to get down on a level with your dog so that you're not taking a picture of the top of his or her head. See, in all these shots, the photographer must have been crouching down or lying down on the ground so that the shots are looking right in the dog's faces. Face the light, don't block it. You want to point your dog's nose toward the sun, preferably early morning or late afternoon, but be careful that you're not then blocking the light as it hits their face. You're going to have to maneuver a little bit so that you get the full golden sunshine of those twilight times right on your dog's face. Last, and maybe most important, exercise your dog before you start trying to get him to sit down and have his picture taken. If you let him run around in the park or maybe have some playtime first, you're going to have a much easier time getting those pictures you want. Good luck and have fun!